picking up where we left off, um, now we are going to install the QMU agent. Um, basically, that is to allow to see here the information from the VM. It'll show us our IPs and stuff like that. And right now it's telling us that there's no guest agent in configured. So we will configure that. It's pretty easy, but I just wanted to go over that real quick. Um, so we'll go back to our console for that. Once you put in the yum install dash y QMU guest agent, you hit enter, it's going to automatically install it. And now that that's installed, all we have to do now is we would like to enable it, um, but we can do that uh, with the system control enable. Once that's installed, we will actually enable it. Uh, therefore, now it is marked to be executable. Uh, we're going to now go back to the actual VM within the Proxmox. We're going to go to Options. In Options, here you can see that there's the QMU guest agent. It's disabled by default. We're going to say Use Agent. And this will also help with freezing, thawing the system for backups and consistency. Um, and it says make sure the QMU guest agent is installed in the VM, which it is. Uh, so we'll hit OK for that. And then the most important thing is, is we're actually going to want to shut down the system. And then once it's shut down, we can say start now. And that is the latest kernel. And now that the system's back up, we can go over here to summary. And now we can see that we have the IP addresses and that we've got a little bit more information like MAC address and stuff like that for the specific system. And this system's all ready to go with the QMU agent installed. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope this helped out and gave you a little bit more information on adding this agent to the system so that you can uh, see the IP addresses and also allow it to interact better with the Proxmox virtual environment. Thanks a lot and have a great day.